Ooh, spooky. We are just a week out from Halloween and you can expect costume parties to kick off this weekend, then trick or treating next Thursday. Whether you're celebrating the spooky season a little early or planning to head out with your kids on Halloween night, Boise Police officers want to make sure you do it all safely. That's why Boise Police Sergeant Tony Ostrander joins us here in studio to give us, uh, give us some important tips ahead of the holiday. Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Yep. So thanks for having me. For a lot of adults, Halloween is kind of going to start for us this weekend here with parties and drinking. Boise Police not going to be partying and drinking this <laughs> weekend. What are y'all going to be up no. to? No. So the Boise Police Department will be stepping up DUI enforcement, mm -hmm. uh, as I would imagine most law enforcement agencies are sure. in the Valley. Yeah. Um, you know, we want people to have fun, enjoy yeah. the Halloween holiday, but use good common sense. Be smart. If you're going to drink, try to have a designated driver. Yeah. Uh, utilize a, a ride share service. There's really no excuse to, to drive impaired. Yeah, and probably have a plan, right? Because you talk about being smart and using common sense, and that's harder to do after you've had a few. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, think about those things before you party. Um, yeah. Have a plan. Mm -hmm. Find somebody that can drive or find a ride share and be prepared to get it when it's time to go. Fantastic. Next week, kids are going to be out trick-or-treating neighborhoods all across Boise and really the whole area. What are some tips to keep those kids safe? You know, with Halloween, it's the same thing every year. It's, it's always that dynamic of kids running in the streets, people driving, it's dark, um, you know, and kids get excited. They dart yeah. across traffic. Yeah. Um, so, you know, the biggest thing is just, we try to encourage families to tell their kids, hey, make sure you make eye contact before you cross, you know, with that driver, Sorry. make sure they see you. Um, you know, for drivers, if you're in a neighborhood, obviously look, slow down. Uh, be aware that kids are going to be running all over the place. So yeah. just be careful is the biggest thing. Um, you know, with the younger kids, obviously, they should be accompanied by an adult. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be out running around by themselves. That's not good for anybody. Um, yeah. For older kids, you know, we kind of tend to tell them, stay where you know. You know, stay in the neighborhood you're familiar with. Yeah. Stay on lit streets. Uh, yeah. Keep your cell phone. Even the younger kids, if, if they have a cell phone or don't, you know, know your parents' phone number in case you get separated or lost. And, yeah. And we can get you back with the parents. And you can probably make some small adjustments to those kids' costumes. Absolutely. Right? So there's little things that can be done. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the candy bags now have reflective tape on them. Nice. Uh, so that's a good option if they don't want to put it on their costume. We get it. Um, <laughs> you don't know, want to ruin that night's costume no, with you don't. reflective tape. But no, all right, yeah. no, we don't want to ruin that. But, <laughs> um, you know, other things that we see are glow sticks, uh, the little necklaces that light up that are kind of a glow stick. Flashlights, of course, sure. are yeah. important. Um, other little things, just making sure it's not a costume they're going to trip on or, or fall into a street, yeah. um, shoes that fit, masks that they can see, just little adjustments. Kind of the epicenter for all this is going to be Harrison Boulevard. What can people expect out there? Yeah, Harrison's, <laughs> Harrison's a lot. Um, <laughs> if you live out there, a lot of people going to be there. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, it, they do a phenomenal job on Harrison. It's going to be a great event, just like it is every year. Uh, the city partners with ACHD in the neighborhood cool. to make sure that it's as safe and marked yeah. as, as they possibly can. They want it to be a safe event. Um, there will be some road closures. So oh, okay. from Hayes to, Hayes to Hill will be closed from 4 to 10. Um, there will be some closures before that just to kind of prepare for the event. Um, and those closures will come down at midnight, but the event will run from 4 to 10 p.m. And it will be pedestrian travel only on, on Harrison at that time. Fantastic. Hey, thank you so much. Yeah, Everybody be me. safe out there. Have a happy Halloween. Back with more news at noon after this.